Hey, what's going on, YouTube? My family and my friends, Excellent Dreams here, back with another exclusive video for you today. So, hope y'all can still hear me. Uh, I got my cutter going, but I wanted to knock this video out right now while I was on my brain. So I wanted to show y'all something real quick. So let's go in here. Let's just delete these songs here. All right. And uh, let's delete those songs as well. I don't think I want to delete those. I like how those came out. No, it was over. All right. Or these songs down here. Okay, so those are SSTs. Or these here. Those are SSTs. And those are SS6s. Okay. These right here. Those are SS8. Let's change all of those to SS6s. My SS 6.2 to make the circle just a little bigger. And boom. All right. Now I'm sure we could have got those stones in there a little tighter. I mean, we can actually change all of these. Let's just go ahead and go with a, our SS 10.2. See, it works perfectly. I guess I'm going to keep it like that. They do look a little tight, though. A little tight in there. So, y'all know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just delete all of those. Let's try that again. Let's do a place and fill, patch fill. Let's clear the path, merge overlapping stones. I want to actually delete those right now. Oh, that came out great, but I want to actually delete those because I want to show y'all something. So right here on the hatch angle, let's say if we typically had our hatch angle set on zero, right? And we went in there, we hatch filled that eye in the glove. This is what we would get. Left to right, left to right, hatch fill. Clear the path, merge overlapping stones. And when we deselect everything, as you can see, we still have this little area up here that did not get filled with stones. Sure enough, we can, you know, go in there and wedge some stones in there. Like so. Now I'll probably even bring this one down. And then, you know. Grab the space between those by, by using the remove equal space tool. Replace equal space tool, I meant. Boom. All right, now that's one way to do it. And that's not bad. Actually, that's, that's, that looks pretty good. Grab all of those stones. Let's just go ahead and nudge those out as well. All right, so what I wanted to show y'all was the, in the place and field tab, the hatch angle. We change our hatch angle to say eight. For some reason, eight just works great for what I'm about to show y'all. And we click on it and we hatch fill it. Clear the path. We merge overlapping stones. Now it almost fits in there better, you know. You may still want to curve this off if you want to. But right there, that looks great for me. And I'll probably just add in a few stones down here. So that came out great on the eye. But watch what happens if we do it here on the uh, on, on his fur. So we're going to click on purple just, just to change the color of the stone. Let's click on the blue. And let's hatch fill it. Left to right with no hatch angle. There's so many places where it curves in the design. 
doing the hatch angle left to right just doesn't quite work for this large area here. Let it work its magic. It's taking its sweet little precious time. All right, let's clear the path, merge overlapping zones. Now I want y'all to see something here. Come on, come on. Take this time to say, this is your first time coming to my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You know, leave a comment down below if this video here helped you out with um, using Corel Draw and the TRW Rhinestone Whisper. All right, so let's let's see here. At zero, we got this straight line right here. Look at that. That looks crazy. And another straight one right here. I mean, for the most part, the design looks pretty good. But then, of course, it starts doing the stair stepper again right here. All right. What we can do to fix that or to change how the stones are laid into uh, uh, <laughs> into Sonic the Hedgehog, I'm gonna put a hatch angle of eight on there. And let's hatch fill it now. So the eight sort of slants it like this, puts the stones in there like that. A lot of stones, y'all, so wait for it to process. Then we got to clear the path, merge overlapping stones, and I want to show y'all what we get. Let's clear the path, merge overlapping stones. Let it work its magic. It's a lot of stones, once again. Also, please share this video if you think this video can help somebody to uh, create better designs using Corel Draw and the TRW Brownstone. Work is magic. Work it, JT. Work it. Come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I got a few seconds to say, check out that shirt. Can y'all see it? Dope sauce. Let's deselect all the stones and now look at it. With the hatch angle going diagonal like this, it almost sets the stones in there better. There's not too many stair steppers in this design except for right here. But we, we don't have that straight line going across. So we can easily just fix this area right here by simply. And the stone here, and the stone here, and then let's let's equal space this line down here. And we want to be slick just a little bit. We're gonna drop this down, drop this down. Not even dropping it all the way down, just dropping it down just a little bit to give them the other uh, stones some space. Now let's equal space it this way. Boom, equal space it like that. Add another stone here. Equal space it there. Equal space it here. Now remember, as I'm going through this, control S and it's saving my work out. And I'm looking at it, I feel like I can get one more right here.
I'm gonna do that. I might as well bring this one down. Bring this one over. See, now I'm getting into super, super fine tuning the design. Wasn't really trying to do that, but sometimes you have to. Like, we might as well just go in and delete that one. So, we're going to jumbo these stones in here just to get it to look somewhat cohesive on this side. Okay, so I missed one. It's right there. As you can see, the other ones are still selected. This is the one I missed. I click on him and delete him. This line up, bring this row up. And then just equal space all the way down. But this design still got some work to do to it. Definitely show y'all what it looks like once it's completed. Just wanted to show y'all that hatch feel angle. Um, play with it. You can go all the way up to, I guess, uh, I don't know. I can't remember. I think I went up to like 120 maybe. All right. And I'm out.